If you combine Nano Banana and Veil 3, you can put yourself in any AI video. And anyone can do this, <coughs> excuse me, one minute. You can create any type of video, put yourself in any scene. Wear different outfits and hold any product of your choice. Now the real me is gonna show you how he created me in these videos. Yeah, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create consistent characters of yourself using Nano Banana and then use that image to create videos of yourself in VO3. My name is Charles. Let's dive in. The first thing we are going to do is access Nano Banana. To access Nano Banana, you go to Google AI Studio. Just go to Google. You search for Google AI Studio Nano Banana and then click on the first link here that says Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Nano Banana. And it's going to take you straight into Google AI Studio. Now I'm going to show you another platform where you can generate nano banana images for 100% free. You're going to go to lmarena.ai. I'm going to leave the link to the website in my Telegram channel. So if you're not part of it, just check the description of this video to join my Telegram channel. There's a link there. Now, if you go to lmarena.ai, you'll be able to use nano banana for free. So if you run out of credits from Google AI Studio, you can always come to LM Arena to generate more images. LM Arena also has a um, you know a limit, but there is a way to work around it. You could just open a new tab in another browser or you know private mode, and you can use it for more generations. All right, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you're missing out. There are a lot of helpful videos here. So hit the subscribe button, like, share, and drop a comment in the comment section. Now to get started, you need an image of yourself and the image you use, ensure that it doesn't have a very busy background. If it has a busy background, what I mean by busy background is a lot of things going on in the background. Um, there are, you know, things at the back, people, buildings, like a lot of things going on there. If there is, you're just going to upload your image here. This, my image here is not busy. It just has, you know, white wall and picture. So it's not really busy. So for you, you might just want to upload yours and then say, change the background to green. Keep every other thing the same. So you're just going to say, change the background to green. Keep every other thing the same right you keep every other thing the same back front <laughs> background to green keep everything the same and then you send it and it's going to change it to green so you can change it to white green just make the background plain then from there would we'll move ahead now before you start doing this have the type of video in mind so if you want to create a portrait type video with this method ensure that the image you're uploading is in that aspect ratio portrait right if you want to do like a landscape ensure the image you're uploading is in landscape mode because what nano banana is going to do is it's going to generate an image based on what you send it so it's going to use the aspect ratio of the image that you send the default aspect ratio for nano banana is one by one if you just send in a text prompt it's going to use one by one aspect ratio so you can't tell it to oh do this in 16 it will not obey you so the easiest way to get it to use your aspect ratio is to upload your picture in the aspect ratio that you desire so here i want landscape and you can see this is in landscape all right now after you've gotten your image with white background we are going to move to the next step now what is the next step the next step is getting your idea for your viral scene so you want to put yourself in somewhere that is weird strange nice or high activity and where can you get these ideas from so there are two places the first place is chat gpt right so you just go to chat gpt say oh give me viral scene ideas and chat gpt will give you a bunch of ideas some of the ideas will not really make sense but you can just pick out some things from the ideas and then the next method is to go to pinterest and search for any idea you have it could be someone flying or skydiving and you can see all these are different images now this will give you idea of you know what 
you'll be able to create or put yourself in. So if you want to do skydiving, someone in the forest, someone lying down, anything you can think of, just search for it on Pinterest. Once you've found it, what you're going to do is to open the image. For example, this, you open it and then you save the image. You can also look for, you know, other nice images or viral type image that you can put yourself in. The next step is to take that image that you've downloaded into ChatGPT, and then you're going to say, describe this image to an image prompt. Describe it to an image prompt. And then we send it. You can see the image uploaded. And boom, we have the prompt ready. You can say a woman skydiving with a white smile, wearing a bright blue jumpsuit with colorful orange. Eye. So it's just going to describe the image. Now, we are going to take this prompt and generate the image. If this doesn't match you, if you're a man, what you can do is just to tell ChatGPT to make it a man. You can see it has changed it to a man skydiving with a white smile, blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do is to copy this and then go to Google AI Studio. Upload your image and then put the prompt. You can see the prompt here. Close up shot of the man skydiving with a big red and orange parachute wearing a gray jumpsuit, black gloves, blah, 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 blah. So you can see this and you can see the last part that I added. Now you can see this part that says keep the man's facial features exactly the same unchanged, sharp and clearly visible. Now someone was running to my inbox and saying, oh, um, Google AI Studio images, uh, Nano Banana images are always low quality. They are not sharp. The trick is to tell it this, right? I share a lot more in my community, if you're not part of my community. Now, the trick is to say this, keep the man's facial features exactly the same, unchanged, sharp, and clearly visible. So add this part so that it will keep the features of your character. And then this last part that says sharp, and clearly visible. Anytime I want to generate an image, add that part. Keep the image sharp and clearly visible. Sharp and clearly visible. The image will come out sharp. It won't look like it's having a lot of grains, noise, and you know, blur and stuff like that. Now, once you have this, you're going to run it. Click on run, and boom, <laughs> we have our image set. You can see the image. This looks like me. This is my face, right? <laughs> now. We are one step closer. Once we have this image, what we are going to do is to enter this prompt here. We are going to say a close up shot of the man. Keep the facial features exactly the same, unchanged, sharp, and clearly visible. Now, before we send this, we want to download this image and re upload it. It's very important. So we download it, and you can see we have re uploaded it. Now we are just going to hit run, and boom, we have a close up shot. Let's look at this. You can see this is a close-up shot of the image, right? Good, we have this. Now we are going to save this. So before we continue, I just started my school creative network where I'll be teaching in detail, answering your questions on a live call, guiding you, giving you tasks to do so you can learn faster. Now this is a creative community where members can join a group call, work on a project together, discuss, and of course, get direct coaching from me so here i'll be giving private group mentorship to all members around ai video creation content creation starting and growing your youtube channel creating top tier ai adverts for brands and uh, building ai agents and automation so i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video for you to join we already have over 100 members at the time of recording this video and the current price is $20 per month, lifetime flat rate. Once it gets to 200 members, people joining after that will pay $50. So uh, check now and join quickly. I would love to see you in there. So the link is in the description of this video. Now, let's get back. Now, once we have this image, the next thing we are going to do is to generate the images for other scenes. So I've uploaded my image and then I enter this prompt here, a man sitting cross-legged in the woods, close shot from waist up, surrounded by trees and natural lights. And then I'm going to run this and boom, we have this image here. Now, this is crazy. This is crazy. You can see how this looks. Okay, this is very good. Now, the next thing we are going to do, uh, which is the tricky part, is this next one. So for the next image, I uploaded it, I entered this prompt here, the man sitting cross leg on a chair at the campsite. So I just added a chair at the campsite 
and it changed the entire shot to this person right here you can see this image here this looks good you can see me sitting on the camp site i know you remember this clip from the video now this next part is the tricky part putting yourself and then holding a product normally it's very easy when you just take an image and slam a product on it and the ai will hold it but it is very tricky when you're doing like a consistent character you just want to put a particular character in there holding a particular product now here's what we're going to do there are two ways you could just upload the image the normal way and then upload the product images upload everything at a go and send it well if you that would work right but if you're having issues you're trying and you're not getting your results what you can do is to do it twice right do a two-step process so the first step will be to create an image for example image of the person like this you already have this image and then the next step will be to download the image that you've generated and then upload it with the product for example we upload the already generated ai image and then a product image and then enter this prompt here now here's the problem with this if you upload the image first and then the product image google ai studio or nano banana would use the aspect ratio of the last uploaded image and if your last uploaded image is not in the size that you want <laughs> that means you're just going to generate or regenerate it again you can see this image here is one by one so if i generate this now it's going to come out in this size right now what is the solution you have to use the aspect ratio that you want as the last uploaded image so we are going to cancel this and then re-upload it now you can see we have the product image that is not the size that we want first and then we have the ai image that is on the right size second or last so this is the order in which you should upload images if you want to stick with the aspect ratio of the uploaded image so use this last one all right once we have this we enter this prompt and then we send it and boom we have this image here we're good to go all right the next thing we are going to do is to go to google view 3 and start creating now once you're logging to view 3 you're going to click on this part here and make sure that is in frames to video and then if it's in view too fast you have to change it from view too fast to view three quality i know view three fast is good but what i've come to understand is i've used view three a lot view three quality is better when it comes to frames to video so if you're using you want to use an image ensure you use view three quality to get the best to get a very sharp image right now for the aspect ratio just set it accordingly mine is in 16 9 i'm going to leave it that way and now we are going to upload the image that we have generated so we click on this plus sign then click on upload and we upload the first image which is this one right here so we select it and then enter this simple prompt you don't need charge gpt for this prompt right you just say what you want for example i said man skydiving says and anyone can do this clear truth excuse me one minute and then suddenly he flies down he has an Nigerian accent now most times vo3 does not comply with this accent especially when it has to do with african voice because for some reason vo3 doesn't know nigerian voice it categorizes african voice or something else so it's a story for another day but if you want to have consistent accent you can use specify the accent here at the end of your prompt once you have this you send the prompt and boom we have our first video now before you jump off there are some things that you need to do here before you finish all right i'll show you that but before that let's look at some other videos now for the next video we have uploaded um, the image with us on the cloud and then we enter this prompt here for it to generate that particular video so once you have this you can see i still have this prompt that says he has an Nigerian accent and i added something extra clouds move in the background so i'm going to send this and boom we have this video this is me it looks like me yeah so this is me and this video would play shortly i'll play the video shortly okay so what we are going to do is we are going to repeat this for all the images that we generated so we upload the next image and then enter the prompt we click on generate and boom we have this video here of him sitting down so the next video is him holding the product now this one can get tricky right so to do this you upload the image of the person holding the product 
and then you enter this prompt now listen if you just go straight if you don't know what to say if you just want the person to start speaking and you go straight and say oh he says blah 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 there's a high tendency that vo3 would miss out on the first word or would do something funny so in order for you to grab all the words and the actions that you really want what you're going to do is you're going to add something some kind of action first the most generic action possible for example here i said he leans toward the camera and then says i could have just said oh he says wear different outfits if i did that right it would just give me a video where the first word is not clear or where it does something funny probably not pronouncing the first word where or doing something or probably doing something that i don't want and then saying the first word so the way to do it is to say he leans toward that's the most generic one you can use he leans toward the camera so you're giving it an action to do before saying something he leans towards the camera and then says blah and then i sent it before getting this video right here with him holding this product and speaking now for the next video it's about the same thing i just changed the speech and said oh he has a nigerian accent and then uploaded the image here and boom we have this video right here now this next part is one of the most important because here you can just take away parts that you don't need from the video so you're going to take all the videos you've generated into any video editing tool probably CapCut, like you can see here and then arrange them accordingly you're going to cut out the parts that you don't like parts that is just wasting time that's silent or doing something you don't like cut out everything um arrange it accordingly and then add sound effects add background music just make the video come alive if you want to add text transition whatever i want to do just add it and you're good to go and you're going to have this video right here if you combine nano banana and veil 3 you can put yourself in any ai video and anyone can do this <coughs> excuse me one minute can create any type of video and put yourself in any scene. Wear different outfits and hold any product of your choice. Now the real me is gonna show you how he created me in these videos. I'm going to share the prompts I used in this video my telegram channel the link to join my telegram channel is in the description of this video if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe because you're missing out on a lot there are lots of helpful videos here so like this video share subscribe and I'll see you in this video here watch this one next